What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Life of Cletus today. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Life of Cletus. I am speed running through unboxing videos of uh, pops that I got from uh, my boxes. I think there's another box, pops somewhere. Oh, Poe Dameron. So we're gonna put these guys over here before I put them on their shelves. And we're gonna open up this Disney Treasures box. Um, Snowflake, no, Snowflake Mountain, December 2017, uh, Disney box. What is up with this plug? Um, I just unboxed, like, my computer and everything. I have to get everything together. Uh, we have a Scrooge, and we got a Olaf pin. I don't know why I keep doing with the Olaf. Nobody likes it. Uh, we got our Disney Treasures map, as well as a, uh, cookie cutter Olaf. That's interesting. Uh, we have a snowflake mountain. I usually sit, like I said in the last video, um, Funko is more of a toy company than a pop company now. Hold on one second. These guys are blowing. Um. All right, welcome back. So, um, like I said, they're a little loud, but who cares? Uh, they become they're a toy company, not a pop company, but now they're into food stuff too, which is uh, whatever floats their boat. Uh, finally, we got an item that's like a piece of clothing from the Disney box. Uh, we got some socks that I made for Christmas. These are going to love. Punky's going to love this. As well as a mini mystery. Um, I don't know who you could have gotten. You can get either Belle or Belle. Uh, which is okay. She's a little uh, cold, I guess. And as well as that, we have a thermos. What is it? Thermos? Mini Mickey thermos. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if they're partnering up with these companies or are they just becoming their own brand. What does it say on the bottom? Made in China. Disney's. Maybe it's part of Disney's uh, line. And they just throw it. Disney has them in their boxes and they just threw it in this. In their, I mean, in their stores, they threw it in this. Um, so I don't know exactly uh, the case. Doubt Funko is making these as well. Cost too much money. And then we have the pop. We have a Bambi pop. Number two. 351 from the Bambi line and it's the one with Bambi on the ice pretty interesting let's uh let's take that bad boy out because we actually unbox our box our pops here because we need space but no um here we go Bambi on ice this is very uh this is very I like this pop I like the way they thought of using a scene and they went with it and uh I think this is a fantastic uh, pop that they made here. Uh, one of the one of the better uh, Disney boxes. I feel like the Disney boxes only come around every once in a while for me. Um, it's not like like I don't know. I got Marvel boxes and I got Star Wars. I got DC. I feel like I never unbox the Disney box. Like it feels like it's hardly ever happening. But we got one. Uh, we got Bambi on the ice. Thought that was very. Um, I thought that was a good move, very intelligent move with them using that kind of scene and uh, getting a re sculpt uh, not a re sculpt a refigure inside their boxes. That was a, um, that was a, I liked that a lot. Uh, it came with a lot of variety. Um, I, it feels to me that, and it seems to me that the Disney boxes are becoming more of a product more than a Funko line. Like, I feel like a lot of these items that are inside here were actually from like Disney itself they are teamed up with them I'm guessing to make these boxes and uh, they're getting help with uh, the Disney products out there and uh, purchase them and be able to put them in the boxes I don't know if they're purchasing just from them and that's part of their deal but they're definitely putting more variety in these particular Disney boxes than any other one we have yet seen a hat yet seen a shirt first thing we've seen ever now is socks so pretty good box I really enjoyed it I'll see you uh, here on the next one. Oh yeah, that's the best one yet. Let's get to it.